For this Wings 3D project you'll need access to the geometry graph which you can find if it's not available by going to window and clicking on geometry graph. Right, right click and bring up torus knot but use this little control here so you can access the dialog and put in a resolution of 44. The value is important. Right, the next job is to select every other one of these lines that cut around the outside of the torus knot. So what I'm going to do is loop these and use it to cut it into short two block sections but I have to be careful to make sure I rigorously chop it up and don't make any mistakes in counting around the outside so it's a little bit fiddly. Right press L for loop, right click and loop cut and you'll see in the geometry graph here that got lots of little short sections. Press space to deselect them all hide one of them, it doesn't matter which one, just so long as you can select one of the exposed ends. Unhide it and then use I for identical, right click, go to rotate, normal and then holding the shift key down rotate around 45 degrees. Select the entire object, right click and weld. Okay, the next step is to select the entire object and smooth it. Now, if you follow this correctly, if you select two lines on this outer ring here with a gap in between them press G and select face you'll see that you've actually got four faces selected round the outside of each section. So the next step is to extrude this a bit to create a cross set cross cross section and then extrude again but this this next time you shall extrude so we can separate these from the bit we're going to work on. So shall extrude that bit try to avoid them colliding too much in the middle of the shape so just watch for collisions there right hide the outer two that you've just created and we're going to work on this middle section now so select one of these again that is going align with the rings on the outside press G to extend that right round the shape and then L and press L a few times until all the rings link up then loop cut it the next step is again a bit fiddly but uh, what you need to do is get it so you're selecting every other one of these sections all the way around the shape without making any mistake because it will spoil the effect so uh, this may seem well tedious but uh, so far this is the easiest way that I've yet uncovered of creating this effect of linking two Mobius strips or rather interlinking two Mobius strips so just bear with me while I get this done right the next step is to go down your geometry graph and reveal one of the previously hidden uh, shell extruded sections right click and weld don't do anything else at this point leave it selected just like this and hide that section again and unhide the other section select entire object select all the objects right click and weld again don't do anything now but press the plus key the minus key and use select inverse and hit delete it will take a little while for wings to work out what you're doing and then you should have all the sections with the ribs in that's super now hide that shape and reveal the other shape press plus minus select inverse hit delete I'm almost there and then reveal both shapes do the select both these objects smooth them down however many times you feel you need to so you'll have a nice shape to render and then you can just show you that here is the finished object you've got two interlinked Mobius strips going around a torus knot it took quite some working out and I've recorded this video very quickly because I thought I was gonna forget how I did it so if you want to experiment think about using different numbers of segments in your initial torus knot because of the 45 degree twist on the pairs then different numbers of segments will result in you can just have one uh, continuous loop around the outside but you can't interlink it into itself without because you've got odd number of steps so that's why it has to be two so there you go a little bit of an explanation there I hope you have a go at uh, modeling one of these and then render it in the render engine of your choice which is what I'm going to do now.